Uh, greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here with Light of the World Ministries. John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, this is not a Bible study. This is just some thoughts about, you know, the Georgia Guidestones. Um, now, I don't know if you know it, but uh, the Georgia Guidestones, from what I read, were made out of granite. And I'm very familiar with granite. I used to have a big old chunk of granite uh, when I was a kid. Let me tell you something. That rock, gr granite is one tough rock i mean there's not i i don't granite i don't know if there's any rocks that are harder than granite all right i had to look it up but uh according to um carvedstonecreations.com granite is one of the hardest substances in the world the only material that is harder than granite is a diamond. So, yeah. Uh, and the Georgia Guidestones were made out of granite. And they weighed tons. And supposedly an explosion uh, destroyed one of the um, slabs that weighed tons. I mean, you talking... Uh, I don't know how much exactly they weighed, but uh, to destroy a piece of granite of that weight, you would need a lot of explosive whatever. I mean, a lot. I mean, military grade stuff. Now, grant, uh, you know, granted, not granted, but granted, I'm not an explosives expert by no means but uh to buy like gunpowder from a gun store to to blow up granite <laughs> i don't think so i mean you're talking probably thousands of dollars to to be able to destroy something like that so i'm thinking military grade stuff like uh, c4 uh, C4 can shatter steel. I mean, it's <laughs> the uh, special forces and what have you use that to blow up bridges, you know, railroad bridges that hold trains that are hundreds of tons. Yeah, you know, shatters steel and concrete. But you're, you're not going to buy something at a gun store for black powder or gunpowder and you know destroy granite with just you know you're talking a lot of money and who would do this you know i bet you the uh, media is eventually going to blame you know some white anti-government type uh you know with an axe to grind or whatever um but uh my guess is that the whoever destroyed the guidestones for the reason being my guess is that uh, the precepts of the guidestones was becoming too well known one of the precepts was to maintain the world population at half a half a billion or less now, if you don't know it, a billion is 1,000 millions. So we're talking, main, they want to maintain the world's population at 500 million or below. So according to the internet, the world population is close to 800 billion. That's 800,000 millions. That's a lot of zeros, people. That's a lot of zeros. 800,000 
millions. So in other words, they want to ex they want to see 90% give or take plus of the world's population cease to exist. And uh, I suspect that the reason the Guidestones were destroyed was you watch shortly thereafter, they'll deny that the Guidestones says that, you know, maintain the world population at 500 million or less or whatever it is. They'll deny it and say, oh, no, 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 that, that was never on there. That's conspiracy theory. But of course, you know, when you used to be able to go to Georgia and go to the Guidestones, I've driven by them. I didn't stop there and look at them. You know, I've driven by them. And I've seen them, you know, but, you know, why, what I, why would I want to get out and look, you know, look at them? Of course, who put those things up is a secret. You know, Jesus said that everything that's done in secret will be shouted upon the rooftops. You know, there's not going to be any secrets when Christ returns. No secrets. No secret rap pre-trib rapture either. No. So, that's my guess. My guess is whoever had it put up, or somebody in very powerful, maybe the gov, uh, blew it up and destroyed it because they want to be able to deny that... Uh, Whoever put up the stones, guide stones in Georgia, um, is wanting to see 90% plus of the world's population, uh, well, depopulation. So that's my guess. Uh, you know, and if you disagree, your opinion's just as valid as mine. I mean, you know, really. But that's what my guess is so i mean we don't know who put it up and uh you know it's funny they say that they want to unite the world under a uh one language uh there was a a jewish guy that wanted to uh create a world a world language called esperanto i think it's called esperanto i think it's pronounced that way i'm not sure i remember that in the 60s or the 70s and uh, uh, what happened to the Tower of Babel? Yeah, everybody spoke the same language and God confused the languages and scattered them. Yeah. So yeah, they want to redo their Tower of Babel or Babel or whatever. Um, to, you ever heard of a baby babbling, non-incoherent speech? You know, blah, 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 blah. sort of like uh, the Pentecostals, right? When they're slithering on the floor sprouting gibberish that nobody can understand yeah i'm picking on the pentecostals because i've been to some pentecostal churches um you know when i was a teenager uh my sister and mom dragged me to church mostly my sister sadly she fell away one of the reasons was this church but we walked into this church we just moved from miami to uh, near cape kennedy Cape Canaveral, Florida, and uh, we're looking for a church, you know, and we go to this Pentecostal church and they got, they're handling snakes, you know, the snakes with the triangular heads, yeah, yeah, the, the poison, or not poisonous, the venomous snakes, I don't know if they had their fangs removed or what, but they're playing with snakes, and my mom and sister and I, we all kind of like looked at each other and decided that we were in the wrong place. So we turned around and got in the car and left. And uh, that was the last time as a family we ever went to church. And uh, of course I went into apostasy and uh, sis never went to another church as far as I know. And my mom pretty much the same way. So uh, yeah, so May the Lord judge between that uh, group and us. That's all I can tell you. So, 
But uh, yeah, why why did those guidestones get destroyed? You watch, you watch. They will in a couple of years. They'll say, oh, that the guidestones never said maintain humanity at under five hundred million. Uh uh, no 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 no. It never said that. That's a conspiracy theory. All that, all those pictures of the guidestones that says that, that's photoshopped. You, you watch, you watch. Yeah, it'll happen. I, I, well, my guess, my guess. I'm not a betting man, really, but you know, um, I'm betting that Judas Iscariot is in hell. <laughs> uh, never mind. But uh, of course, I deserved after how I acted in high school, I deserved to be there with him. Only by the grace of God, I'm surprised he put up with me all these years. So, almost had to kill me to get my attention, you know? And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.